Okay, so from our last video, what we did is we had our uh, increment up and our increment down, so we can actually control the speeds up and down. Um, now, just as we showed before, uh, we have our up and down, so we can speed up our speed down based upon the one shot that we put in. Now, again, the increment uh, it will the if you choose incre increment one, it will it says if increment up then it will do the speed reference plus 10 and then unlatch the or put the increment up bit to a zero so on the counter side to that if the increment down is uh, high or in a index of one then it will put the speed reference and minus 10 and then it will put the increment down bit uh, to a zero. Now what I've done is I've added limits in here for the speed up and speed down. So if the speed reference, and this is to get it uh, like a safety mechanism so that it cannot take it, uh, take the, like if this, this was an actual drive for a speed uh, controlling a con conveyor or something of that nature, let's just say it was deemed from like zero it could not go negative it could not run backwards so zero was its final speed and it could only move forward and then you said okay but no faster than 60 hertz then what we're saying is right here we're saying okay well the speed if it's less than 10 or less than zero it's going to be zero we're going to go ahead and force a zero into that and then what we're saying if the speed reference is greater than 60 then we're going to push a value of 60 inside of that speed reference. So let me show you that real quick. Let's go ahead and index this up. So I'm going to take it all the way up to uh, 60. And what we'll do, and I'm using the one shot. So you're seeing the logic work as it would, right? So now this is a this is already at 60. So if you look at the value right here, okay. So let's look at the value we're already at 60 okay so if I hit increment up one more time it's gonna stay at 60 because if this right here will not exceed 60 so I use this toggle bit right here to show you the values inside of the actual structure text program so you uh, please note that you will only have this in the later versions I believe it came in play in version 31 don't quote me on that but when it comes down to that this um, is not going to be in RS Logix 5000 or in the later versions so you might not see it um, just keep in mind uh, might, might have actually been in 28 I'm not sure just about the exact version it came in but if you don't have that toggle please just hover over it and you can see that but always use the watch you can come down here and just click watch right here and add your tags down here just like I'm doing so and let, let's just show you that same exact thing running uh, down to below zero now below zero again it will force a zero into the system so that we cannot run the motor backwards so if I were to index that down again it's gonna stay at zero see as you see right here if it's less than zero it's going to push a zero in there so the the speed of the actual speed reference cannot go uh, any lower than zero and that's because of this logic right here this if the speed reference is less than zero then we want to push a zero we want the, the speed reference value to equal zero and then we're ending our if right now in the counter to that we have the upper range and that's what the upper range is going to be too. So hopefully you learned a lot from that video and we'll see you guys on the next one.